Yesterday we had a birthday celebration. Today we received news that someone in the community died, the mother of one of our supporters. So a birthday can also be a death day. In fact, once you're born, it's guaranteed you're going to die. Even the Buddha had to pass away. So the question is, are you ready to go? Most people act as if they didn't know death was waiting for them. And then when it does come, it's as if it's a big surprise and they're not prepared. But the Buddha said, you can prepare. This is what heedfulness is all about, to remind you that your actions can make a difference. If you're careless, okay, you're leaving yourself unprotected. But it is possible to protect yourself, so you don't have to suffer from death. So when the Buddha talks about mindfulness of death, it's not just to get you depressed or to just think death, death, death. It's to remind you there are good things you can develop in your mind. Work on those. And then you make a survey of your mind to see where your weak points are, and you work on those. That's the whole purpose of this kind of reflection, is to give some urgency to what you're doing. When things are comfortable, it's easy to get complacent, which is why you have to remind yourself again and again and again that you don't know how many more breaths you have. Even in the case of the person who did pass away, whether it was yesterday or earlier this morning, <clears throat> earlier this morning, I'm not sure which yet. She knew she had cancer and her death was coming, but she, still she didn't know what day it was going to come. And it's the same with us. We have no idea when our day is going to be. If you look at the calendar, any one of the days on a year, yearly calendar could be your day. So act as if you know that it's, it's going to happen and you're getting ready, you're getting prepared as best you can. And some people then ask, well, why should we content ourselves with getting the mind into concentration? Well, dealing with the mind is a meticulous job, and you want to do it carefully, so you've got to get the mind calm. You can't rush through. Even though there's a sense of urgency, you're not supposed to rush through the stages. The mind has its rhythms. And take confidence in the fact that as long as you're headed in the right direction, that trajectory will keep going, even if death cuts short the life of this body doesn't end the life of the mind. So make sure you're headed in the right direction. Take confidence in the right direction, because there is a right direction. Most of the world will tell you, well, they don't, nobody really knows what happens after death. You even get some lay Dharma teachers saying that, even some monks say that. But the Buddha said, it is possible to know. That's one of the things he learned on his, the night of his awakening, what happens after death. And it all depends on your karma. And your karma comes from where? It comes from your mind. Is your mind trained or not trained? That's going to be the big issue. So we can prepare. There is a right direction for our preparations. As we follow in the practice of virtue, concentration, and discernment, or generosity, virtue, and meditation. That's heading in the right direction. So even though the, this body may not be with you as you go all the way there, still you're headed in the right direction, and that's what counts.